Hi, how's it going? My name is Parker. I'm a motion graphics designer, and today I'm going to teach you how to use cameras in After Effects. Now, cameras in After Effects act pretty much just like real cameras. You know, they can zoom in and out, you can move them around, and uh, they've got depth of field as well. Pretty cool stuff. So, to create a camera in After Effects is really simple. What I've got here is my project window from how to use lights in After Effects, which if you haven't seen is a video you can watch right here. Or you know you can use your own project, whatever you've got going. So pretty simple. Um, if you just go up to Layer New Camera, it'll create this dialog box that uh, you know gives you a number of different options. You can change the lens on your camera uh, to you know to match any of the you know lenses that are that are out there. Right now we've got you know 35, 50. I'm going to go with a 50, um, and that'll change your depth of field. Um, you know, some of your angle of view, and this is all math that you can actually change as well. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to go with uh, the standard parameters of a 50 mil. Okay, great. So uh, a camera one has popped up here in my timeline, um, and I kind of like where it is right here as the light passes over the center of the text. So we're going to have that be sort of our, uh, our hero shot where we're, you know, really showing the text. So I'm going to turn on the position and the point of interest. Uh, right there, so that I know at you know one second and 27 frames, that's right where we'll be. So I'm going to backtrack and go back to zero seconds. And what I'm going to do is, you could either go up here to the camera button and select one of these options, either the unified camera tool, the orbit tracking, X, Y, or Z, or you could hit C. And if you just keep hitting C, so here I'll show you. If here we are at zero, and if I hit C it'll toggle through these options. Pretty quick and easy. I use, I use C more often than I actually go and click. So, so right now I want to start to the other side of the frame. So I, I want to move the camera to the left. So I'm going to grab this one which is the, uh, the XY. And I'm just going to literally drag the scene over here while holding shift to make it a nice uh, perfect line. And you can see a couple of keyframes were already created there at zero seconds. So once you change where you are in the timeline and then move a parameter like that, it'll create new keyframes for you. You don't actually have to click on the create new keyframe. Okay, so now we've got, you know, camera left and it's going to move into our hero shot and stop. And I want it to hold there for about a second, so we'll say three seconds. And this is where you would have to click on the create new keyframe like that. So now I've got two more and I'm going to uh, let's say let's say during this two to three seconds let's uh, let's add a little zoom. So I'm going to hit C again and now I've got my little zoom button here. Um, let's start here like this and just punch in just a little bit so that as it's coming up to this point let me zoom in just a little like that. I'm going to move forward here even more at the next one. And then let's say for the ending, we'll pull off of it. So we're gonna, I'm just going to click and drag backwards without going past my background. Great. So that's as far as zoomed out as we can get. Now I'm going to hit C a couple of times to get back to the track XY again. And then I'm going to hold shift as I push it here off to the side. Okay, so that should have a couple of zooms and some moves to show you just how quickly and easily you can create some camera effects in After Effects. Well, there you go. I hope you learned something. You know, create a uh, composition of your own. Play around, see what kind of crazy camera moves and angles you can create, and, uh, and have fun with it. Send any requests that you may have to requests at mahalo.com. I'm Parker. Have a good one.